from unexpected mammals and sharks to crustaceans and amazing amphibians. Here are 17 of the strangest regenerating animals. Number 17. Sea Urchins more than 900 species of these animals can be found in all oceans, some of them at depths of 5,000 meters or 16,000 feet. They're easily identified by their round and pointed appearance. Those spines inspired the creature's common name. Urchin was an old nickname for hedgehogs which they resemble. Their sharp spines provide an effective defense against predators, but if they're broken off, it only takes a few days for the animal to regenerate them. Did you know the sea urchin's spine is composed entirely of a single crystal? Number 16. Sharks We were kind of surprised to find these big fish are good at regeneration, but then again, considering what they regenerate, maybe it's not that big of a surprise. Certain species can replace all their teeth within two weeks. Experts say the rapid replacement is due to shark teeth being unattached to the bone. Did you know the average shark is estimated to lose up to 40,000 teeth in its lifetime? And sharks can regenerate more than just their choppers too. Bamboo sharks can regrow most of their liver within 24 hours. Skin and scales can also be regenerated by certain species over a period of several months. Number 15. Skinks these animals belong to one of the most diverse families of lizards, with more than 1,500 species so far described. The majority of them have long tapering tails that can be detached if a predator grabs onto it. A new tail will regenerate within four months, but it won't be as good as the original. Still, that's better than those species with stumpy tails. Those lizards exhibit no regenerative abilities at all. Geckos are another lizard that displays similar behaviors and abilities. Number 14. Lobsters they might be better known for being served on a plate, but these crustaceans also have a reputation for regeneration. Experts say the animals can regrow their claws, legs and antennae. They're even known to amputate their limbs to escape from predators. The regrowth happens during the molting process, when the lobster sheds its exoskeleton. In one documented case, a lobster regenerated four missing legs and both claws within a single process. Number 13. Humans there's no doubt that we humans can be some strange animals, but are we strange enough to be mentioned on this list? Overall, mammals are not known for their regenerative capabilities, but we can regenerate certain extremities and body parts. That includes your body's largest external organ, which of course is your skin. Skin tissue that is not injured can be regenerated within a couple of weeks. The human liver has a reputation for its ability to regenerate too, often from only one quarter of its tissue. Fingertips have been known to regenerate after being amputated. The first such incident was documented in the 1930s when the skin and bone of a man's finger were regrown. Toes damaged by burns or gangrene can also regrow. It might be a while before we can regenerate lost limbs like Deadpool, but it's a start. Number 12. Queen Conch these are large sea snails that can have a shell measuring almost 14 inches long, 35 centimeters. Along with their solid, spiky shells, the mollusks are known for its long snout and well-developed eyes that are set upon two stalks. Experts say the critter's eye stalks can be subject to amputation, but if the snail loses its peepers, they will completely regenerate. Number 11. Deer Species found within this family of hoofed animals include the elk, reindeer, and moose. Like we mentioned, there aren't many mammals that qualify for this sort of list, but these well-known beasts do, and it has to do with their antlers. They shed them every year, but a new pair is later regenerated. Did you know their antlers are the only appendages that can be annually regrown by a mammal? Across nearly all species, only males have antlers except for the male Chinese water deer. The only females with antlers are reindeer or caribou. Number 10. Starfish you might also know them as sea stars. Whatever you call them, there are more than 1,500 species found on seabeds in all the world's oceans. They show up in tropical waters to freezing polar waters and have been found at 20,000 feet, six kilometers below the surface. Most of them can regrow their limbs, but certain species can regenerate their entire body from a single arm that's less than one inch long. Experts say that it can take anywhere from a few months to a few years to complete the process. Number 9. Spiny Mouse Our third mammal with regenerative powers is this humble beast. The little critters have a method of escaping predators that is unique among mammals. When in the clutches of an aggressor, they will release chunks of their skin to get away. 
but that missing skin is later regenerated along with their fur, cartilage and sweat glands. Only minimal scarring can be detected after the skin is regrown. There's a theory that humans might possess similar genes that could allow for regeneration. Number 8. Sea Cucumbers For the record, their common name is inspired by the resemblance to the cucumber fruit. And while you might like the taste of the fruit, you wouldn't like the taste of a sea cucumber. They're packed with toxins, and that's a big reason why predators usually avoid them. But if the creature is threatened, it has a couple of unappetizing ways to defend itself. Some species will break off their limbs for protection. Later, those lost appendages will regenerate. Some animals have a more extreme response to a threat. They'll self-liquefy their internal organs, then jettison them through their backside. The predator is entangled in the detritus long enough for the cucumber to escape. Within a few weeks, the animal's guts will regrow. Number 7. Basket Star they appear like a mass of seaweed, and some people have even thought they were alien life forms. But they are marine invertebrates that create unusual abstract patterns with their tendrils. Did you know these marine creatures can regenerate themselves by splitting their bodies apart? It's a form of asexual reproduction where each half will develop into a new and separate organism. Number 6. Hail Hydrozoan these minute freshwater organisms measure about 15 millimeters and are related to jellyfish. Noted for their remarkable regenerative ability, the hydra has a protein that seems to counter the effects of aging at the cellular level. Scientists still unclear on how it all works. What is known is that the hydra can regenerate significant portions of its body after an accident. The ability inspired a reference to the mythological hydra, which can regrow its decapitated heads. It's unknown how long the creatures can live. Some experts say that barring disease, the hydra could live for 10,000 years, if not indefinitely. Number 5. Planarian Flatworms These creatures are often cited as textbook examples of animals that can regenerate lost body parts. If the worm is split apart horizontally or vertically, it will regenerate as two separate animals. Experts have shown that the newly regenerated individuals could even possess the same long-term memories of the original specimen. If so, scientists say that it could prove that the creature's memory is transferred through a chemical process. Number 4. Salamanders These amphibians are sometimes mistaken for lizards, and the resemblance can extend to their respective abilities to regenerate. Unlike those reptiles, salamanders can regenerate more than their tails. They can regrow lost limbs within a few weeks, along with other body parts that have been damaged. More complex tissues like the eye retina are also commonly regenerated, and according to experts, salamanders can do this indefinitely. Not unlike some other animals on the list, scientists are trying to reverse engineer the salamander's regenerative abilities for applications in human medicine. Number 3. Newts Remember how we said that salamanders are mistaken for lizards? Sometimes newts are mistaken for salamanders, of which they comprise a subfamily of about 100 species. Like their cousins, newts can regenerate limbs, spinal cords, hearts, intestines, eyes, and their upper and lower jaws. No surprise that amphibians like newts exhibit the highest regenerative capabilities of any four-footed vertebrates. Number 2. Snail Fur did you know that snails have fur? They really don't. Snail fur is the common name of a tiny marine animal that grows on the shells of hermit crabs, giving them a furry appearance. It's a species of hydroid that's no bigger than a human eyelash that has a trunk and a head used for catching food. Sometimes their heads are used for food by grazing fish. But whenever this little beast is decapitated, no worries. Their noggins will regenerate within a week, complete with a full head of hair. That's caught the attention of scientists who are trying to unravel the mystery of this primitive creature's regenerative abilities. Once that's figured out, the answer might hold the key to regenerating tissue in humans. Number 1. A lot of axolotl We've mentioned how amphibians like salamanders are renowned for their ability to regenerate. But some experts say the real master of the craft is the axolotl, 
In addition to regrowing limbs, they can also replace more complex organs, including lungs, eyes, hearts, and even spinal cords. Did you know that they can easily accept transplants like eyes and brains from other axolotls? The alien organs are always restored to full functionality. And for the full functionality of our YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.